I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. There's, that, there's, there's a certain amount of lying that I feel is understandable. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Right? I think some people don't lie outwardly. They don't lie to other people. Right? They might lie to themselves once in a while. They might be like, mm, you know what? Maybe I don't, you know. Maybe maybe I'm 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 wrong about this. You know, maybe like they lie to themselves and be like, oh I'll do this later and they don't. But in terms of like actual just straight up lying about stuff, like I, not everybody lies. Not most people lie. Yeah. Um well, at least I'd, I'd like to think so. I think most people would try to tell the truth as much as they can. Um, and if you don't, why? Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, it's quite a random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? I don't really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Uh, of course you were. Hey, I'm going to need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit too quickly? Oh, that's my problem, not yours. Give me another. Give me a fringe breather. All right. We oh, got fringe, fringe breather. It's one of them and nine of them. <laughs> Fucking hell. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah. So we can do that as a big. should dissuade him from oh we need him aged there we go oh saved saved cracked cracked at every game <laughs> cracked at every game try not to drink it too fast that's up to me hey lady you ever felt empty empty how like hungry nah never hungry chili yeah. Remember to eat, kids. If you haven't eaten today, eat soon. Don't have to be big. Just eat soon. If you're feeling down, it might make you feel better. There you go. And have a drink. And have a sit down. And maybe have a look at the Discord. I do a bunch of other stuff. Look out for you, kid. It's right. Uh, <laughs> empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean, empty like there's a part of you missing. can't say I particularly have. I just feel that there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to do, to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? Might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Yeah, any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading. Bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising, streaming. Yeah, sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... The bitch is an alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once brought my Christmas bonus, hiring three women for an orgy. That porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also had a girl to act like my daughter for a day, uh, for free... For three years in a row now. Uh, nothing seems to do it. Sometimes. We might feel like. That emptiness inside us. Is because we lack. A partner. We lack someone. 
to be there for us. In reality, sometimes, you are better off on your own. You just focus on yourself. And stuff starts to get better. And that's how you know. And stuff being better might make you happier. And happy people attract people. That's just how it is. Uh, have you tried whiskering a puppy? No, you can't fuck puppies. <laughs> At least you shouldn't. See, sex on the brain. If you think about sex too much, it's, it's gonna kill you. Now I'm drawing a blank then. I can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Yeah? I could've been lying for my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. And please come again. If you if you decide to, to leave any at any point. I love you. Come again. Sometime. Maybe. If you want it. It's up to you. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. City nine. <laughs> City nine. Alright. It's now safe for me to keep playing. Oh, great. Excellent. How are we all doing? We all good? We had any new members in the Discord? We'll take a look. I don't think so, though. Who's here? Someone is here. No, no one is here. It's just the uh, my stream had a little bit of a blip. There we go. Well, at least I didn't get locked up this time. All right. Uh, let's change out anything. I don't think so. I think I think I think our music is good. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good. Uh. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's a bit more comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Hi, is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist, Say P. Asagiri, oh, Say P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Um, what can I get for you, Say? Let's see. Oh, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. I'm not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so, I. I since I need to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one. Not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. So we can go by flavour instead. Uh, and she wants a sweet drink, so we'll do that. And then if we take something that has ice on the rocks, blended. Uh, let's see if there's anything with less Karmatrine. Optional Karmatrine. That doesn't have any ice. Fedora. Huh. Um, let me see. Piano Woman. Sparkle Star, that'll do it. Or aged and mixed, no. Uh, the Sugar Rush is good, but it needs to be cold. Moon Blast is good. Maybe the Moon Blast? Yeah, the Moon Blast. Let's go with the Moon Blast. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one of them, and one of them, and two of them. 
Okay. All on the rocks. And blended. Ah, right. So that's the other... So when it starts to go like... <laughs> yeah, like that. That's blended. Okay. There you go. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon, but once a week, every month. Here you are. Ah, yes, this is just what I needed, thanks. We don't get any right knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You say you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, you're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people, I mean, obviously we're different people, but we deal with, we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with the air aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal and protect. We are the angels who soothe the suffering, those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of people in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch. We protect. Um. What was that? Sorry, it's our sort of pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter and I rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a chapter job. Sort of. It's also really rewarding. I mean... I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash and water was pouring out of the hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it almost looked dreamlike. Th th that's that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... Uh, never mind. Wait, did I hear you and it actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss it. I just guess I was expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? I don't, don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy, a classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what we can do. Let's see indeed. Right, type. Classy. We're going... If it contains more than eight, it's a big drink. Brand teeny. The other thing we can do is see if we can get her something that is sweet as well. Yeah, alright. There you go. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend, not that I have any of us. But she's the one I know no longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's special about her. And what do you think? 
I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill? Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. Ju Julian! Do not call me Julian, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, excuse me. I, I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? I smell a dog urine and soap! My mum used to be a veterinarian, and I got to use her clinic after school, so... I, I used to go to her clinic after school. <laughs> use her clinic. I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smile takes me back. Makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <laughs> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never good a student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. At that side, mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and I and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't know what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt like this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Ah, huh. that was interesting, right? It was interesting, though. One would think that being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guided myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. You get me, though. <laughs> yeah, I try to do the same, too. Why joined the Valkyrie Corps specifically like that? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies that handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned to assign when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There's also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I think some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember a drink called a, a martini. A brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. We already gave her that. Hmm. It could be that I'm remembering this ever so slightly. Yeah, see? Ah, you're right. Thanks. You know what? I'll... I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though, she's more into um, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work 
Uh, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She, she left the helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check whatever the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where, where, am, where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean Uncle Inga's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy rundown bar true? Call it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? <gasps> Alright, the where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you an, are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're, you're, you're pickpockets, aren't you? Well, why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. I'm always so just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you. Do you want to tear my clothes and be with your conscience and have your horrible way with me and then brutally murder me, don't you? No. I'm not saying that. Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw it at her face. <laughs> Something to calm her down. Okay. So sweet. Non alcoholic. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So, I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? Why, did you spice it with? Yeah, it's a spice, not spike. Roofies, TTX, pumpkins. God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they don't my pay in tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I can get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BDC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all proud for FTP abuse. And the thought of going through all that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, let's do so. If you go outside and had just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Huh? The two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it went so noisy. Any damage? A little hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about it? Oh my god! How? Why? How? I'm back. Are you... Tried to get me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk at the store. He even knew your name. Good point. First of all, it's not my name. That's my boss. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, 
I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door. Forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace. No your value would be lost. Uh, are you implying something that won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Uh, and what about a drink? Are you just gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Um, I'm not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? That yeah, was good, I guess. Well, I'll have to calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. If I randomly woke up in a bar, just like apropos of nothing, I would probably just assume that I was drunk beforehand. And I would just hope that I had everything on me. <laughs> I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll have to stay away. I'll stay away. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you in here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. Hmm. How did you fall unconscious? Are you tired? Sick. I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you may be right. Okay then. I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Piano man. Hey, Pepele, if you're in the, the chat, go for it. Do the big rant. Uh, if not, that's all cool. Anytime you're able to do the big rant, you rant it to me. I'm not streaming rant personally. It's all good. Uh, we got three of them. Three of them. Right, so it's five of that, five of that, two of that, three of that, four of that, no, three of that, yeah, uh, what, uh, 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 bang. there we go. <laughs> oh, wait, I misgendered the pianist. <laughs> misgendered that pianist, though. Don't tell me you're like my mom with her politics about what's for boys and what's for girls. The line of thinking led to her bullying me, an erotic cast off figure when I was, oh, buying a... An erotic cast-off figure when I was, like, five? Erotic cast-off figure? Basically, a real, de really detailed sort of PVC statue of clothes you can take off. She bought a figure, hey, it's just another doll. And then justified it by saying something like, well, you have to learn about your body sooner or later. Still, I wish I had a... Still, I wish I had a Go Gloria Sama's body. Gloria Sama's body. I see. Uh, who? And um, what the hell is a Sama? So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. What do you work, Miss? I can't make him. I don't know if I can say work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called the Augmented Eye? I read it every morning, in fact. In 
fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. The bastard lives his week wherever he goes. So, do you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. Harsh words. Ah, pretty accurate words, actually. And the worst part is, I do, that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about things that he wants people to have done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked him where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy came became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. I... I don't think that that's a normal way of doing that, right? Like, I, I highly doubt that it's it's normal for that kind of thing. I, I highly doubt it. Uh, but hey, I mean, you know what? Each their own, right? Like, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's not like I've, well, I have taught people before, but like, usually they don't, they don't learn things like that. I guess this guy's just different. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I kind of hate it's, his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's, ugh. Why are you working for him then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere? You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality? It's kind of the same here. You just. I stream what I want, kind of when I want to do it, and then sometimes it's quality, and sometimes I uh, leave chili on a keyboard uh, and skip about six lines of dialogue accidentally, or uh, you know stuff stops working midstream, or you know there's a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of jobs like that, to be fair. Um, so. Yeah, it's really warm here. Like getting up and doing this for a bit was um, a cool bit. However, kind of regretting it. <laughs> uh, while answering the whimsy of people's orders, I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical acids some people didn't might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco ever seen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. And that's where... What I want. I want a comfy place. A comfy discord. Very comfy discord. You just get up, you sit down, you... Fucking tune in or not, and we talk about frogs and fantasy star. And your boss sounds like an interesting person. What would want to put me somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. I'm sure, she's a bit tense last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything else just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Huh. Huh. Sorry, I, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break... Oh, sorry. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that. It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? 
You should be glad to know you're okay. I, oh no, I, I, I shouldn't pester her that way. Yeah, besides, uh, besides, that's Ingram. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can have a, handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. Let's do it. Speed run. Oh no, nice. There we go. Okay, uh, three of these. Uh, one of them, and uh, aged. And uh, next, and uh, bam. Hey! Yeah, boy, got the skill. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'll have another one then. It's nice. Hey, Joel. Was this job like a lifetime dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. The one thing later, another and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julianne <laughs> arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams? Yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast of me. So, no dreams? Not that I feel particularly motivated to chase now. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I say, finally. Oh, those dogs later left a mess. I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, look, Clyde. Oh, good night, man. <laughs> 